an equation is made of two expressions <clears throat> that are equal to each other. So we say that the equation is balanced, that the, the value of the expression on one side is equal to the value of the expression on the other side. So again, the equation is balanced. And so in this activity one, we're going to use this idea of hanging socks to visualize that idea of keeping both sides of an equation balanced. So imagine that in these socks, you could have any number of different things that have weight. You could have marble, stones, blocks, anything else that you can think of. And so what is one thing that you can say about these pink socks? No matter how much stuff they have in each sock, and it could be a different number of marbles, stones, blocks, what is ultimately, what is one comment that you can make about the pink socks for sure? <clears throat> Well, you could say that those pink socks, socks have equal weight. So a different number or kinds of objects, but whatever is in each sock, the total weight of each of on, is equal on both sides. So we're going to use this idea in math of adding things to one side and then adding the same amount to the other side to keep things balanced, subtracting, multiplying, one side, then multiplying the other side again to keep it balanced, dividing, and so on. So we always want to keep the two sides of an equation equal to each other, and we say that those two sides are balanced. Now what about the blue socks? The blue socks are not equal. They are not balanced. So how can you make each side balanced? Well, this left side is heavier than the right side. So to get there, maybe somebody added some weight to the left side, and to keep it balanced, you could add that same weight to the right side. So this would lower this side, it would raise this side up, and it would make them balanced. Or maybe somebody took some, some objects away from the sock on the right, so it made it lighter, and you could take the same weight, maybe different things, that you could take the same weight away from the sock on the left. Again, to, that would raise this up, that would lower this, and again, to keep it balanced. So take some weight away from the left or add some weight to the right. So this is that idea that we're going to go through again and again and again as we solve equations. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we're going to do to the other side of the equation to keep the equation balanced, to keep both expressions equal to each other.